This video is all about configuring, troubleshooting and updating the Solax Wi-Fi dongle. Now I'm focusing on the version 3 which is the black dongle. Firstly we're going to look at uh, connecting to the dongle. So there are a couple of different ways to connect and uh, this is avoiding the app that Solax provides to set the dongle up because um, it doesn't seem to work very well. So this will be the manual method. I'll then look into configuring the dongle via DHCP or a static IP address which is better for devices that need to communicate with it so that the IP address doesn't change. And then checking the connection, troubleshoot essentially to see why it may or may not be working, then upgrading the dongle firmware to a later version so it's compatible with things like Home Assistant and, and other devices. Firstly I'm going to show you how to connect to the dongle. The dongle has its own Wi-Fi access point and SSID so you need to log on to the dongle Wi-Fi network to be able to see the configuration page to change any of the settings. Connecting to the Wi-Fi networks will vary depending on what you're using but you should be able to translate it from one to another. If you go down to the system tray on Windows and left click on the Wi-Fi icon you can see I'm connected to my home network and underneath there's this Wi-Fi and then it's got the registration number of your dongle. Now it's important that you're within a few meters of your dongle just so that the signal strength is, in, is strong enough um, and you can log on to it. So if you click on that and then click connect the computer should disconnect from the home network and connect to the Wi-Fi dongle. Please bear in mind that once you've connected to the dongle, you won't have internet access unless you have another network connection because the Wi-Fi will be connected to the dongle network instead. I then need to know the IP address of the dongle. Solax have made the dongles have either 5.8.8.8 or 192.168.10.10. .10. Most of the V3s these days are the 192.168.10.10, but you may need to try both. This IP address needs typing into a normal web browser. So any web browser will do. You can do this on a phone, on a PC, on a Mac. What you need to do is load up your web browser and type in the IP address into the address bar. And press enter. You'll be presented with a username and password logon. So for the old dongles, the 5.8.8.8, .8, the username is admin and the password is admin. For the newer dongles and some of the others, the username is admin and the password registration number of the dongle. The reg number you can find, it's written on the dongle or you can get it from the Solax cloud. So if I enter that in the password field, that's the registration number of the dongle and press sign in. You'll be presented with the main dongle configuration page and there are three tabs across the top, DHCP, Static IP and System. A quick explanation of what these mean. DHCP is where the IP address for the dongle is assigned by your router from the DHCP server. Sometimes this address can change. If you don't want the address of the dongle to change, you need to assign a static IP and that's in the next tab. In this example, I have a static IP assigned. I don't have a DHCP IP assigned. So you can see the IP address field here is blank and the IP address here is completed. I'm going to take you through basic DHCP configuration where the Wi-Fi dongle will be given an IP address from your Wi-Fi router. All it needs for this um, is your SSID of your home network and your Wi-Fi password or your key. To find your SSID you can click the Find AP button. It gives a list of detected Wi-Fi networks and you need to pick the one which is your SSID. Mine is called Home with a 96% signal so I'm going to click Home. The key is the Wi-Fi password. It's often written on the back of the router or on a little pullout on the back of the router. It's the same password that you use to connect mobile phones and any other devices to your Wi-Fi network. So type that in there and then click Save. It'll prompt you to wait 15 seconds and then to check the settings, click the Return link. 
Now you can see that the IP address has been assigned and it's been completed in the IP address field. Your Wi-Fi dongle is then set up and should connect both to your router, to your inverter and to the servers in China for the uh, Solax cloud connection. There shouldn't be anything else you need to do. If you wish to configure your dongle with a static IP address so that it doesn't change in the future, you need to firstly look up some settings from your home network. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now I'm connected to my home network. Going down to the system tray, I'm going to right click on my Wi-Fi network and click Open Network and Internet Settings. And then what I'm looking for is Change Adapter Options. My Wi-Fi network is called Home, so this is the one I'm looking at. And I want you to right click on there and click Status and then click Details. So in this window, it gives you all the IP addresses and information of how that Wi-Fi adapter is configured. And the information I need is the default gateway here, 192.168.1.254. So that is the IP address of your router. And the other information I'm interested in are the DNS servers. So this is 208.67.222.123 and 208.67.220 and 123. And I'd like you to note those down so you can use them later. When you've done that, click close. Click close again and close the other dialog boxes. You'll then need to reconnect to your dongle Wi-Fi network so that you can continue the configuration. So back in the system tray, left click on your Wi-Fi icon, click on the Wi-Fi network for your dongle, and then click connect. Once you've logged back onto your dongle, click on the tab across the top which says static IP. This takes some of the other settings off the DHCP page, but there are also the others that we need to enter manually. To connect to your Wi-Fi router, you'll need the SSID. Again, cl click Find AP and select your Wi-Fi network from the list. In the key field, enter your Wi-Fi network password. You can assign an IP address by typing in the IP address field. Now, it's important that this is outside of your DHCP allocation pool range so that it doesn't get allocated the same IP address as something else. Now, this is slightly technical, but you'll need to confirm with your router that it won't assign the same IP address. I know that my router won't assign anything above 100, so I'm going to type 192.168.1.112, putting minus 112. In the subnet mask, most of the time it'll be 255, 255, 2550, unless you're on a big company network. Default gateway, this is where you took the information from your network configuration. So mine 192.168.1.254, yours will be different, but this is the IP address of your router. And again, you noted down the DNS servers. If you have two DNS servers, put them in those two boxes. When you've finished all that, click Save. Click on Return to go back to the configuration page and the static IP tab. And you can see now that those details are completed. The key will always disappear because that's your Wi-Fi password. Don't worry about that. But um, the settings have been saved. And that is a static IP configuration complete. Moving on to checking the connection. It's important that the connection between the dongle, the Solax Cloud, your router, and the inverter is working properly. And this is how you check whether the configuration is correct. Go back into your um, Wi-Fi dongle configuration page, and this time we're looking at the System tab. On the System tab, you can see the firmware version that was originally set from the factory. Where it says connect with inverter, so this is the serial number of your inverter. Connect with router, it says home, which is my Wi-Fi router. And connect with server, this is the IP address of the Solax cloud server where it sends your information to. If you want to change your logon password, you can change the passwords using these two boxes. If any of these connect with boxes here, say non or off, it means that that connection is not working properly. Just to demonstrate, you can see now 
the connect with router is off and the connect with server is off. So I've just done this to demonstrate what happens if you get, for example, your Wi-Fi password incorrectly entered. Now I'm going to go back to my static IP page and enter my Wi-Fi password correctly. Click Save Settings. If I go to the System tab, you can see that those settings have been restored and everything's working properly. So check these fields to make sure that your dongle is connected to everything. The last thing we're going to look at is upgrading the firmware of the dongle. So this is important because certain firmwares are out of date and don't work correctly with, for example, the Solax Modbus integration in Home Assistant. So it's important to keep your dongle firmware up to, up to date. It doesn't change very often, but um, if you haven't got the latest version, then please update it. These are some details of getting the latest firmware. If you can't find it, you can always um, buy me a coffee and email me and then I'll send you the latest firmware update file. Logging back on to your dongle, and um, we're going to the system tab to update the firmware and where it says firmware update here dot USB um, click choose file and then select the USB file that either Solax or I have sent you and click open. When you're ready click the start button once and the firmware update procedure will commence. It'll say firmware update success, system reboot, please wait five seconds and then refresh. After the firmware update, you may need to reconnect to the dongle Wi-Fi network. And when that's done, go back to the dongle IP address and everything should still be configured as it was before. Now it's important to note that there is no indication of the firmware revision. The firmware version on the system page here is the firmware edi edition that was installed from the factory. Um, there is, however, this number called internal code, which says 06.04, which Solax say may indicate the new firmware revision, but they're not sure of it. So after you've done the firmware update, it has been updated. There isn't necessarily any change in your interface. Um, if you contact Solax, then they can tell you what firmware you're running but there isn't any way of finding that out from the inverter screen or from the Wi-Fi configuration page. So you just have to accept that it has been updated if the process was successful. When you've finished your configuration, you're happy with it, please remember to reconnect back to your Wi-Fi network so that you can then access the internet and everything works properly. Now, if you note down the IP address of your dongle, or the static IP address that you assigned, you can now type that into your address bar and access the dongle now from your local area network. I type in my username and password, the registration number, and you can now, without connecting to the dongle Wi-Fi, access any of the same configuration page as you did before from your local area network. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that's helped some of you. Please see my other videos and like and subscribe and share. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.